Let's get an overview of distance, speed, and time and how we work with these in chart navigation. We have the three variables. We have distance, speed, and time. And we have a memory aid to help us. A lot of times we'll refer to this as D Street. We have distance on the top, speed on the bottom left, and time on the bottom right. And distance is equal to, is always in nautical miles per hour. So distances are always going to be in nautical miles an hour for our chart navigation. Speed is always going to be in nautical miles per hour. And time will always be in hours, just hours. And when we refer to this, if we have two of these three, we can always get the third. So, let me, where's my eraser? There's my eraser. I'm going to set this up. So distance, let's look at distance again. Distance, how can we find distance? Again, we make our D street circle, right? And distance is on top, speed is the bottom left, time is the bottom right. So distance is equal to speed times time. Distance is equal to speed times time. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Distance divided by time. I draw it like a fraction. This is the same thing as saying speed is equal to distance divided by time, if you're more comfortable with that. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. So time is equal to distance divided by speed. And now, again, the units are important. Distance is nautical miles an hour. Speed is nautical, excuse me, distance is nautical miles. Speed is nautical miles per hour, and time is in hours. So in order to put these into this formula, that's the units. So let's look at one example here. This would be an example for an ETA or a speed made good where we have to convert some of these. If we take 12 hours and 45 minutes and then we say we subtract 11 hours and 30 minutes, right? Let's do the subtraction. 5 minus 0 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. 12 minus 11 is 1. This is 1 hour and 15 minutes. But if we wanted to put this time in for time, this one hour is okay because it's in hours, but we need to convert this 15 minutes divided by 60 would equal 0.25 hours. Now we have this one plus this 0.25, we have one hour, 1.25 hours, and then we would be ready to put that in here. And this is the type of time conversion we'll have to do for ETA and speed made good. So again, this is an overview of distance, speed, and time. Distance in nautical miles, speed in nautical miles per hour, time in hours. To, if we have two of the three variables, we can always find the third. Distance is equal to speed times time. Speed is equal to distance divided by time, right? Speed equals distance divided by time. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. So time is equal to distance divided by speed. Use all of this in combination and you should be able to get through the ETA and the speed made good problems and all the rest of the problems really use this distance, speed, and time stuff.